Okay, so I'm about to assemble my little Ken B kit here, painted by LaDonna Briggs. That's really exciting. Um, I've got everything I need. Got my polyfill there. I'm going to have to be working with thigh highs because I did not get to the store to get knee highs. Got clippers, scissors. I had to get her body in the Caucasian because they didn't have the biracial, which I think would have gone better with her skin tone, but I couldn't get it in the 17 inch. I've got my scooper, my funnel, and my glass micro beads, and some extra ties in case. Um, they did come with ties though. And actually, mine are, the heads are a little bit smaller on the ones I bought from Amazon. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to go, and wish me luck. I'm gonna be waiting and stuffing my baby, and I gave zero thought to what she's going to wear after, after the fact. Um, I was very focused on getting the materials to, you know, fill her and finish her. So we're going to have to go through the baby clothes and find something, but I'm going to have to buy her a special little outfit. So here we go. Wish me luck. Hope I don't screw this up. Okay, so hurdle number one. Um, first of all, I did find stockings, never worn. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I think I'm nailing glass beads. Oh, there's some fuzz on there. We'll get rid of that. But anyway, I, no, I swear that they were never worn, I promise you. I haven't worn stockings in ages. Now, I want to weight the head. I definitely want her head to be weighted. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to get, because I tie my bags kind of tightly so that they don't shake around. I have no idea. I'm afraid I might have to take an X-Acto knife and trim all this off, which I think is going to be okay and won't ruin the integrity of the doll because, you know, it attaches by the ring here. I don't want to alter this, but I may have to. So that is hurdle number one, and we'll see. Can I get this big ball, which... I don't even know if that's heavy enough, but she's a little girl, into that little hole. Is it going to happen? Tune, stay tuned to find out. All right, so I figured it out. It's really not difficult at all. You just have to push little by little, and it's going to go in there. So I was making a big deal out of nothing. I am getting the weighting in there without without cutting any vinyl. Yay! All right, moving along. Okay, so I've got the limbs all stuffed up. Sorry, my lighting this isn't doing what I want it to do here. I've got the limbs and the head all stuffed and filled. And so I filled the arms up about right, right about, about maybe to this little line here with the beads and packed it all up with polyfill. And with the legs, what I did was about the same thing, up to about right, right at the, I guess, top of the knee, and packed it all up tightly with the polyfill. And her head, um, it was kind of a struggle to get the weight to be where I wanted it to be. I, I think it's more in the middle of the head, whereas I really wanted it more towards the back of the head. But I think it's a good weight. And I don't know how to gauge this. And no, I'm not getting on a scale with him without the baby because I haven't weighed myself. Ah, she's so cute. In like five years, and I'm not about to start now. I have enough anxiety. So the body, um, I, I forgot that I'd gotten one with these closed limbs. I think that's really cool. I wanted to try that. Now, nothing was going to leak anyway, even though I don't have plugs. I've got it really nice and stuffed there. So I saw no need to cover that even before I realized what body I got. So I don't know if because she's a smaller doll, if I should only give her one pouch of uh, glass beads, you know, like in, in her middle area, if I should do like one in the butt, one, I, I guess to be distributed properly, there should still be two, maybe just smaller than the average doll. I'm, so, I'm sorry about the camera shaking as I just kind of shook it because I'm, I'm just holding it. I don't have it, you know, in the tripod right now because I'm doing this in stages. And all right, so on to the stuffing and weighting of the body. See you soon. 
All right, so baby is complete. That was pretty long labor. Um, <laughs> quite time consuming. Fun though. Um, I've got a little bit of confusion setting in here. So I bought a 17 inch body and I've measured her over and over and over and she's exactly 15 and a half inches. I, I don't understand. I, I was kind of aiming for 17 inches, but she is 15 and a half inches, uh, my smallest baby yet. Now I did make her fat. Uh, let me sit her up. But I did leave some empty space up here to allow for some head wobble. <laughs> She's so cute. Um, so I, I, I do like my baby's fat. And next step is to find some clothes. Ah! <laughs> Everything's falling over. Next step is to find some clothing for this little princess and slap a diaper on her. But first, I'm going to take a little break. Um, it's getting late. I haven't even eaten dinner yet. So I'm, I'm going to be up late. But look, she is so pretty. And I'm, I'm really happy to have a baby painted by LaDonna Briggs. And I'm also happy to have this particular pa baby in this color scheme because the blonde one looks nothing like me but this one really looks like me when I was a baby so I love it um, so stick with me and we'll see what I can rustle up to to put on her so she's not naked anymore all right thanks okay so we are in the home stretch now um, oh goodness I forgot to like put on my bathrobe oh well so I found some little clothes just for now until I can get her something of her own. This is a little preemie onesie that I have. And oh, there's so much mess. So much mess just to assemble a doll. But I think this is a great step to take um, prior to even thinking about painting a doll for myself. I, I have taken dolls apart and reweighted them, but I have not assembled a whole doll before. This is my first, and I am thinking that I'm going to have to start to learn to paint at some point because I, I have a kit, a blank kit, that I really wanted and waited a few months for, and I think I'm going to need to learn to paint. I just, which means I probably will send the other one off to be rooted because I don't think I can do that. Well, she is small. She's a little girl. Aw. I wanted her to be a little bit bigger, but she's got to be proportionate, and she looks like she is. So let's get some tiny little pants on my little girl. What the hell is this? Oh, loose threads everywhere. I really do have a mess to clean up. I can't imagine what it's like to paint and assemble dolls, the work. I mean, just the time. Maybe it goes more quickly once you're used to it, but this was time consuming just to assemble it. So I'm getting a better feel for, you know, what artists really put into their work because the painting obviously is the biggest part. It takes the most amount of time. I can't imagine the mess. Oh goodness, she's so tiny. So here is little Niki. Let me see if she's in the frame. Yes, she is. And, oh, I have a little hat for her, too. I don't know if it's going to fit. So I don't think I have any preemie hats. I think this is newborn. newborn. So let's see. All right, well, that's going to have to work for now. Again, I will get her things all of her own. But, oh, she is pretty. What a pretty girl. So, there she is, all complete. And my back hurts. And, wow, it really is a lot of work, you know, just to do this part of the doll making. So, I'm going to clean up my mess and eat dinner. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful night. And give us a thumbs up, please. And do consider subscribing. That would really make me happy. Um... I'm loving, you know, 
my little channel growing very slowly and you know it makes me feel good and makes me really happy to do these videos so everyone good night air hugs